one, it's me, Pluto. And, and mom's busy, so, so she just left me to wander the Mr. Googlies. And I was looking for some random thoughts and some smack inspirations. And, and, and guess what I learned? Today, it's the 57th anniversary of the Beatles' British release of I Wanna Hold Your Hand. Oh, yeah, I tell you something I think you'll understand. That's a great worry blaster song for sure, and it's still a popular hummer after all these years. So, so, so I, I want to hold your hand. It was the very first song that the Beatles recorded with four tracks in, instead of just using the two tracks they used to use. And it took them 17 chances to get it recorded until George Martin thought that they had the right one. And, and so then when they released it in the United Kingdom lands, boom, it knocks She Loves You, yeah, 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 right off that number one spot. So, so, so the song, it was the big break for the Beatles in the America lands and, and it became their first number one. It sold 10,000 copies in one hour in New York City alone. But then She Loves You, Yeah, Yeah, Yeah came to the America lands and it knocked the hand-holding song right off the number one spot. Boom again. So, so, so those two songs, they were really fighting it out. The Beatles had seven number ones all in that year, and they kept going strong with 20 number ones on the Billboard's top list during their whole career. In fact, in fact, today is, is November 29th, but in, in, in the 1969 time, the double A side, Come Together Something, also was the number one song. And, and George Harrison, he wrote that beautiful something song. And so maybe, maybe today you could do some hums for that song to remember George because, because he passed away on November 29th, 19 years ago. So, so that's a little sad, but he left behind so many great hummers. So, so maybe you could do some My Sweet Lords or some Here Come the Suns today to, to feel good. Oh, oh. Also, on, on today in 2004, Mr. Godzilla Monster, he got his own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. There, there are 16 make-believe stars on the big Walk of Fame. Mickey and Bugs and Kermit, Pooh Bear, Shrek, and, and some others. But Godzilla, he's the only villain. Not even King Kong or Darth Vader have that star. And, and, and he got his big break in 1954 in a movie that was that was named for him. He was an unpredictable destructive force because because he had had some exposures to the radiations. And, and the Wikipedias, they say that that guy has been in 28 movies, okay? His, his super weapon was really stinky breath. <laughs> it's totally true. I mean, I mean, mom says I shouldn't judge because sometimes I have a little bit of stinky mouth. But I mean, but my breath can't melt steel. That, that's, that's atomic breath. And Mr. Godzilla, he was totally the king of the monsters. So, so there you go. That's some stuff that you could learn if you fall down the rabbit hole of the Wiki Wikipedias. So have a really great day, everyone. I'm going to go do some snores and, and, and look for some snacks. And we'll see you soon.